Welcome to the new Rock On Vlog. <laughs> Guys, today we're gonna solve a mystery. We're gonna answer your question. Which bike is better for stunts? The RC or the Duke? So we're gonna check all the pros and cons of both bikes and headlands, which bike you think is better for stunts? I think it would be the RC. We're gonna check, but first, time for some bike form. Okay, let's get to action. Howdy how! Man! Bam! I forgot how fun that bike is, man! It is so fun, it is already night. We should shoot the 250 still, but we are over with time, man. We, I didn't ride at RC for a while. Yeah, so, I man, could see that. You can see that, right? Yeah, the yeah. tricks are not really oh. polished, but I've, I freaking love that bike, man. Especially the lower sitting position when you're drifting because you're so close to the floor. What I just don't like that we left from last time, it's that thing here. This small one, this small one. You don't one. like the Krabovic? No, I like DJ Krabovic. Just this thing inside. I think there is zero biker on the planet that loves DB killer. We hate DB killers, but we need to keep the noise down because... Turn around, man. The f church. We are downtown, so we cannot be like MotoGP style in the middle of the city. And now we're gonna go over to my stunt spot. It's time for the 250. And Throws. then we can rev. Exactly. So let's go to the spot. Let's go wide open with a 250. And I want to throw some new tricks that I'm trying to learn. Super aggressive, super in the limit. Enough of talking. Let's go over to my spot. And make the comparison, right? Exactly. Good morning, guys. Dominic, did you sleep enough? Not really. I'm still sleepy, man. It's like 9 in the morning. Time to throw some next level tricks on the 250. I'm gonna uh, do some similar tricks so we can compare those bikes. So give me a second to tie my shoes and let's go. <laughs>
not for riding today man every bone is hurting it's like how many hours dominic two days of filming two days enough for that vlog so guys you see how much effort we put into our rock on vlogs let's talk about the pros and cons of the rc and the duke and see which bike is the best okay so let's see which bike is better let's start with the 250 duke what i like on that bike is that it's very very light and it's super easy to throw him around when you do circle wheelies and the combinations as you can see also the jumps from one bank to another is really really super nice agile bike this is how i would put it what i don't really like on this duke is that it has a smaller tank than the rc so it's hard to do the high chair tricks to move your legs around and so on and the seat is higher which is a bit but really five percent harder to do the drifts than with the RC where you're actually sitting lower to the ground if you want to touch the while you are drifting on a 250 the ground with one hand it's harder because you, it's harder to reach the floor another thing that I like and also not like for different reasons is the shorter frame than the RC and when you step on the wheelie bar your center of gravity is higher which makes all the circle wheelies and no handers easier to do but then when you want to move around from the bike from backwards to jumping back in the direction of riding it's harder because everything is so compact so you have much more space on the rc the suspension the handlebars the sub cages are same as on the rc so those bikes are very very similar to each other they have just few points uh, that are different and make some tricks easier or harder to do uh, let's move on to the rc Opa. Opa. Yeah, the tank here, as you can see, is much, much bigger than on the Duke. So it's a bit easier to move around, as you can see on, on the tank. It's made out of carbon, so you need to cut away the original tank and make a nice seat out of it. The sitting position, as I told before, is lower than on the Duke. So it makes your, you are more closer to the ground when you're drifting. I don't know how to explain, but you have a better connection to the floor where you are riding. You feel the drift, actually. Uh, your sitting position, if I go back, it's more on the front so when you do stoppies you have more feeling you have more body weight on the front wheel so it makes the stoppies a bit easier to lift up and roll them longer again a very very small difference the next thing the whole frame feels longer it's much easier when you turn around and do some acrobatic stuff it's easier to move around the bike what I like is the crash cage setup here so I can step on it my Duke doesn't have that that's already a stunt setup those bikes are stunt bikes so they have a bit different setup so I'm taking this on, into account so I'm just talking about the parts that those bikes have the same oh man I thought I have the answer before I started that vlog that I knew which bike is better for stunts but now after two days of riding them both at uh, the same time Rob, but you have to choose one <laughs> we are yeah. making the video so choose one I know man so with which, with which bike would you ride for to the end of this season I would go with the Duke because I feel a bit better on some tricks that I'm now learning they are a bit easier to do but as said before it has a bit different setup than the RC so because of some bigger brakes I can do them easier but I would go with the, with the 250 Duke do you think you can learn all the tricks with the RC if you spent a lot of time on it definitely yeah as I said again before they are like 5% difference not a big difference between those bikes so all the tricks that you can do on the 250 definitely you can do on the RC so we are again on the question which bike is better to, for stunts so I would say here both bikes are same good to throw some tricks and learn some proper stunts they are really good base to build a stunt bike here is my answer guys both bikes are good for stunts I mean it really it's hard to choose which one is better okay so how our fans should choose which one is better for them I would say it depends what kind of style do you like more. Do you like more the sport look or you like more the naked look? I would say you just need to choose that and the performance is the same. So Okay, I think you have to sit on both bikes and see what kind of position you love more or? 
also that good point so you sit here more on the front and there you sit more on the back so you choose which which you prefer more and I would say that bike is, is a bit better for taller people and that one for smaller people so I'm 172 centimeters uh, and they fit me both the same <sighs> guys we should end this vlog Dominic it's yeah. getting the sunshine is going out it's so hot yeah we need to go and enjoy our weekend exactly man we hope we answered some of your questions regarding which bike is better for stunts this is just my opinion for sure everybody has his own opinion i hope i helped you when you choose which bike to buy guys that's it for this time oh and i have a sick design for the 390 duke prepared already you will be amazed and another thing i made a challenge for myself i want to learn one big trick every month so i'm gonna show you one new trick each month it's a personal challenge for me to motivate me and to push myself and i already saw some two new tricks that we're gonna show next time right they are coming for us or not we didn't have accidents sorry guys no, not this time <laughs> not today maybe next time when i want to try some new tricks so yeah i didn't want to show you in that vlog already some tricks i was uh, this holidays uh, one month ago uh, were meant for training so i was i was flysig how you say flysig so i was training a lot uh, in the in the holidays for you guys for myself so i'm gonna show you a lot of cool stuff in the coming vlog so see you next time thanks for subscribing don't forget that and see you next week until then rock, rock on, on.